Hi, I'm Scott. I'm local H. Come here. Uh, my rig. Match just going into Marshall. Top of the Ampeg because of the Ampeg box here. All right. There's another amp over by Brian. So what happens is basically there's there's two chords coming out of the guitar. This one, the green one, is for the guitar, and then this one is for the bass. And a friend of mine from Zion looked that up for me, Toby, and. Uh, it picks up the bottom two strings and that goes directly into the bass. So we're trying to figure out how to make a two-piece band sound like like a full-piece heavy type of rock band. Bunch of pedals down here. It's a, it's a mess. Split out into the different guitar effects of this beat-up GT5 boss. What do you call these? Effects processors. If there's anybody at GT5 Boss processor land. We need another one of these because this thing is dying. Mainly it's for this and the split that it does to get into the box and the mark the matchless. And then over here is all the I'll just go straight to the bass if I want to do that. signal, but not a lot because it doesn't really track that well. And that's just to impress the kids who are into dub these days. So. Yeah, like I do this to all of my guitars that that I get. So I try not to get the greatest, nicest guitars because I'm just gonna have to destroy them. So what you see here, like say with this um, the Strat that I have, I, I removed the middle pickup, took the uh, bridge pickup and put an SG pickup in there, and then put the bass pickup there. And the bass pickup only comes under the bottom two strings. And then uh, a separate jack, and that's where the bass comes out, those bottom two strings. And that goes into the Ampeg bass amp. You just got to make sure that your root notes are either on the E string or the A string. So you're not going to be able to play like an open D chord. You want to play a, a fifth fret D chord. So you just kind of like pump the bottom strings and sort of like do Ramones bass things. Until